welcome to just vibe be vibes welcome let's talk about this so alas a kubo thing and um, broken engagements with fancy uh acholunu okay i've been talking about it little 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 on some of my shows and then i realized that most of those things i don't even think my nigerian friends would even listen to me or want to even watch that because they will see people that are like okay i don't want to hear this they would not even know so i'm like okay let me do a video just to break down the whole thing and everything that has happened the moment alexa kubo announced his engagement and then they did the whole safe the date thing when they did that um just lover carried that and said so an actor just proposed and he's gay so i'm not saying that he's gay straight bisexual whatever because i'm not one to talk about someone's sexuality he has to come out if he wants to come out but let's just like she said the thing that gets to me is that she said live in your truth so that's where i'm like okay is just love her right about what just love saying what did she find out how come she was okay they were happy and just watch them see how fine you are on my on mama asano what a good vaccine they go in one asam pete skin like milk see how fine you see how happy they really were and then all of a sudden everything just like kind of just go away something big must have happened for everything that is planned like literally the everything is planned people have already started show showing uh you know ashwabi and all that stuff like what well, you know ready for what they're gonna wear for body traditional and and then all of a sudden it's just gone and there was this british ma presenter guy his name is philip schofield and he has been married for 27 years have children like when he came out no he didn't come out this year i think it was 2019 that he came out years now i kind of like scrambled up just because like sometimes i think that something that happened you know a long like you know the years i just scrambled up we all know what we've gone through the whole pandemic and everything but this guy was married for 27 years and then he came out as being gay and everybody was like oh he's so brave he's no he is he wasn't brave because he would have been brave if, if he has come out before he married so he married his wife just to cover up and then he broke the innocent woman's heart imagine being married for 27 years and finding out that your husband is gay i do understand that he he should have lived in his truth i am sorry so when people were talking about it i was like then i didn't have my youtube channel if not i would have been on it because i do not understand why someone thinks that that is okay that like everybody just was so oh because they don't want to get into the whole lgbt community uh um trouble they don't want to get backlash from them but the LGBTQ community also knows when something is wrong. You leading someone on, marrying someone for 27 good years, and the person find out that you don't, like you're not into them. It's not even that she is a girl that she can say, okay, I will compete. No, you're into a man. So why did you marry her? Why did you lead her on? Like her whole life is over. 27 years, she's old now. Like where does she start from? And then she has to, they have to say, oh, the whole family is in peace. Because, of course, what would the woman do? We know the world we live in now. What would she do? So, for me, if if it is, I'm not sure, I'm not saying that it is. But if it is that he is gay, not bisexual, but he is gay. And then he was, you know, I mean, just, he wanted to just get married. Maybe because it's, it's time now for him to get married. And actually, and obviously she lives in America. He's mostly in Nigeria. So their relationship has been so distant that maybe it will work out that way. She will just stay there. Then he will go for some time. Then he'll be in Nigeria more. So that way you, you can be able to hide him more. If that was his plan, if that is actually what happened, because I'm saying a big if. But just I also talked about it again, like he should live in his truth. So somehow, I don't know. Now, if that is what actually happened, this is speculations, to be honest. I'm not sure. It is alleged rumors. But lots of people are commenting about it. And I so said, I don't want to believe that every rumor is true, but there must be something big that made up. But if that is it, then it's a good thing that the girl let go now. Because 27 years down the line, then she finds out that, oh, he's gay. Then what would happen? She'll be heartbroken and then, then he will go ahead living his truth. Because in 27 years time now, gay, the way the way um, being gay is accepted now in the UK, it's going to be very, very much accepted in Nigeria. It's a little bit, but not that big. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think if an actor, if someone like Alex Akubo come out being gay, he's not going to get those roles that he normally gets. Even if some of the producers and all that, the, 
people have been saying that most of them are gay but they are still not going to open it once you open it come out you might you will not get all those roles you will not get the roles of you being lover boy and because that's what he is known for so it's going to affect his bank and that is fact so i do understand why if he is he's trying to keep it on the down low and there's nobody's listening to bring him out of the closet but if he, if that is the reason there is a good thing that she let it go and then i saw somebody talking and uh, saying that oh keep your relationship and um, private normally your relationship on social media social media does not spoil relationship people spoil their relationship like you're okay so now someone dms you and you answer them like you talk to them hold on a minute oh, so as i was saying someone uh messages you on your dm right and is trying to talk to you maybe get to know you and then you're talking back to them flirting back with them knowing that you're in a relationship you've not told them okay uh maybe i'm not saying you cannot have friends but you're not saying that oh our chat has to be casual i'm in a relationship it best is trying to ask you out or something like that you flirt with them you talk with them maybe you even start doing something with them and then you say social media is spoiling how did social media spoil it it is your looseness that spoil it because you don't know how to behave when you're in a relationship that's what spoiled it that's what i'm saying i've not had any relationship that social media has spoiled but i'm not saying that i have a relationship that people have spoiled not social media and i've not had any problem with social media myself specifically but if you if it's sport it's sport because of the person involved i do have people dming me talking to me i don't go ahead and start flirting with them and talking to them you know like oh no i don't do that sometimes i don't open my dms or the messages then sometimes i'm polite like hello hi and then i talk back to them so it depends you know you tell people straight up okay no even when i'm single I'm like, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I'm one of those people that when they are single, they're like, I'm in a relationship. I know, that's bad, but that's me. Yeah, I lie when it comes to that, you know? But you understand. So it just, I uh, don't know. I feel like social media don't spoil it. It's people that spoil it. If you respect your relationship and you don't give people the go ahead to, you know what I mean? Don't talk to them. For, don't give any reason why your relationship should spoil. Then yeah, there will be no reason why you should spoil. So that's that. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.